Hello, everyone. This is Michael Bevilacqua, the Vice President of the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce. I'd like to introduce you to one of our members of the chamber, Mike Stewart. Mike, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Mike. So, Mike, tell us, I know you're a realtor. Tell us a little bit what you do. I know you have a couple of businesses as well. So why don't you briefly tell us a little bit about both those businesses, and then we'll go from there. Sure. So I am a realtor. I am currently with Cadillac Realty Group. They're out of Burlington. I live in Andover, so I kind of do this whole entire North Shore. I also have my New Hampshire license as well. I've uh, been dealing with a lot of um, construction aspect. I uh, just closed on a couple of new construction colonials in Reading, and so the flip market and sort of kind of niched in there. Obviously, friends and family have come across as well, but um, you know, referrals are, are a very nice part of the business. I've definitely had some of that, particularly on the on the construction side of things and the flip side of things. Um, so that's been certainly beneficial. But um, you know, all re all referrals are certainly welcome, as we know. Um, but uh, yeah, and then I also have uh, an appraisal business, Bay State Appraisals, uh, out of Wilmington's my office. Um, been doing that. I've been in the appraisal business for 30 years, and wow. actually now for 23. Um, basically, back in 0405, I had like seven, eight people. They kind of changed the rules after the crash in 08, and so it was basically me for quite some time. But I did bring, uh, I do have somebody on board as a trainee right now, Steve Bowen. And um, we're trying to grow in that aspect of things. So there's uh, definitely some companies that I've noticed on the Merrimack Valley Chamber that I'd like to get maybe associated with um, some of the banks and credit unions, some, some that just have never ended up on their list over the years. But um, so we're growing that as well. Um, and like I said, I'm offices in Wilmington, but I've kind of worked you know, pretty much out of home more often than not. Things have been crazy, um, as you know, as it's, it's, it's been such a... With rates being so low and tons of sales and tons of refinances, um, it's it, it's certainly been nice. But um, yeah, we're, um, we're we're doing well, and like you said, trying to grow that and trying to trying to separate myself. If I could clone myself, it'd be wonderful. So, so I'm trying to make Steve kind of be a mini me in terms of you know the appraisal side. I think once I get him trained and up and running, he has his license and whatnot, and I can kind of focus on the real estate side. I am growing and looking to grow. I know Cadillac's looking to grow. We actually have a well, they actually have a TV show. We're going to have a TV show coming out in the fall. Oh, pretty cool. Uh, and so that's going to certainly have the potential to grow us. We're talking about potentially growing next year in terms of maybe even the Wilmington office. We'll see how that all plays itself. Anyway, I'm looking to build my team. So Steve also has his real estate license. He's coming on board. And I'm talking to a couple of other potential agents, people that are taking their test. And so, yeah, um, in that position of, you know, trying to, to grow things and, and become a little bit more so, successful in the area. So Mike, you 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 do appraisals, you do real estate as well. So that sets set you apart a little bit. But um, what um, what separates you from the others? Why should people choose uh, you to do either you know appraisals or realty? Um, well, I mean for the uh, for the appraisal side of business, obviously you know having banks and and credit unions and mortgage companies are the tie, um, and uh, you know obviously vast of experience uh, doing this whole Eastern Mass. I even go to Central Mass. Obviously, I have my New Hampshire license as well, and so I do Southern New Hampshire too. So I would say on that front, you know, sort of knowing the business and betting it for so long is certainly a benefit there. On the real estate side of things, obviously, um, you know, everybody knows a bunch of realtors. Right? That, there's no two ways about it. And and so, you know, it, it's certainly comfortability. Um, somebody who kind of knows what they're doing, knowing the game, knows how, how to kind of benefit them as a client. Um, but I, I would say that, you know, I don't think I'm better than anybody, but when it comes to kind of knowing markets and stuff, I'm in every market all day long because of the two businesses. So that's something that's kind of separates me from most. And that's certainly something that I feel like I can bring to the table better than, than a lot, but at least at, at the same, at the same level as well. So. Sure. And being in part of both those different industries, what sort of trends are you seeing? What should be people be aware of uh, going forward? Uh, I mean, I hear a lot of people getting worried about, you know, where things have gone in the last six months, particularly, obviously, the over asking crazy the world that we're living in right now. I had, I had clients that we, three straight weekends, we were building, bidding on multiple properties, well over asking price. I had to kind of tap it there, responses, because I'm like, listen, we got to be careful, because the one thing I didn't want them to be in a situation was in three or four years, they have to sell and they're going to, they're going to call me and then I'm going to say, sorry, you're upside down because you went too crazy. So I kind of had to bring them in and rein them in a little bit. But, um, 
Yeah, I, I, I think that it, it's, it's, it's definitely a weird market, something we haven't really seen. So trying to caution people about where things are going to go, no one really knows. And even when there was times in the past that people said, oh, no, this is going to happen, and it didn't. And so even though I have some people kind of whispering in my ear on, so sort of, ah, it's going to kind of crash, it's just, I'm not so sure. And if it does, I don't think it's any time in the near future. So I've told particularly some friends and clients of mine that, if you're in a position that you could sell right now because you don't care about school system or where you're going to go or all those things, because that's the number one thing that I hear back. Well, where am I going to go? But if you're in a position where you don't have to worry about that as much, and that doesn't apply to everybody, but for those who do, this is the time to be selling. And I really think September and October, this coming uh, in the next few months here um, is going to be just like it was in March because everyone's kind of taking the summer off. It's been slow, but that's going to kick back up, I think. Well, it's great to hear. And it's great to hear that, you know, you, you look after your customers, your clients, you set them in, in a place for success rather than just throw them in the first possible place. I think that's great that you can, you work on their concerns and then move from there as well. So Mike, if someone's in, interested in contacting you either on the real estate side or their appraisal side, what's the best way to reach you? What do you have any social media? Do you have a, an email what, a website? What's the best way they can contact um, you? Obviously multiple on all fronts. Um, uh, certainly you can find me, you know, online, just, you know, Google Bay State appraisals. Uh, there's tons of information on that. Just being able to do that. Bay State APPR at Gmail is my email. Um, the real estate side, Mike Stewart sells pretty easy uh, at Gmail as well. Um, and, you know, tied with Cadillac Realty Group. So, but, you know, as, as is the case, if you do the research and just name online you're gonna find me just as, <laughs> i've done i've done that much research on myself <laughs> that's great yeah mike mike you've been a member of the chamber for, for a few months now so i want to thank you for being a member of the merrimack valley chamber of commerce how has being a member so far benefited you and your businesses um well i mean I, i'm going to the mixer tomorrow at, yeah. at, at tuscan so i'm looking forward to that that'll be my first sort of interaction on that front i did go to the golf tournament which was a blast and I did meet some pretty cool people and kind of interacted a little bit there. So that was nice. Um, obviously, you know, just seeing some of the, the names and the people and stuff like that that are associated with the chamber, I think is it's good to kind of network with everybody sure. I'm familiar and help each other out where possible. Obviously, you know, there's a bunch of people in the same industry and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I mean, it, it, it's it's about it's about building and networking. And that's sort of where, where I'm trying to expand my time and try to do those kinds of things. So I look forward to meeting more people as we go along with these mixers as well. Well, we appreciate being a member and we appreciate being on the show today. Anything you'd like to add? Anything else you'd like to uh, throw out there before we sign off? Well, I mean, I, I think that uh, building relationships is important. Trusting people is important. And I, I feel like I bring that to the table. And uh, I think if you give me That's that. what it's all about. So again, Mike, I want to thank you for being part of the show today. Uh, real quick, tell everyone your, your contact information again uh, as we sign off. Sure. Uh, Mike Stewart sells at gmail.com. Uh, uh, 978-423-3364 is my cell and Bay State APPR at gmail is the other email for Bay State. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. We look forward to seeing you at the Mixer tomorrow. We look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, I want to thank you again for being part of the Merrimack Valley Chamber Means Business Program. This is Mike Bevelock with another edition, edition of the Merrimack Valley Chamber Means Business Program. And we look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks, Mike. Perfect. All right. I'll see you.